Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a stereoscopic 3D image. So what we have here is a black and white portrait and we're going to be working in the RGB color space then we're going to split channels so that when you look at the picture through special glasses the image will appear in 3D. So the final image it, without the glasses will look just like this but as soon as you pop your glasses on you'll see the woman in the background and that 3D text in the foreground will jump out. So we'll get straight into it and go back to the original file. And the first thing that we want to do is just to convert our background layer into a workable layer. So if we just right click from the options that appear, select layer from background, just click OK. And we're going to make this into our red layer. So if we double click, and what I want to do is just switch off the green and blue layers, click OK and I'm just going to label this layer red. And as you go along with this project, it's a good idea to keep all of your layers labeled so that when it comes to organization, you can find where they are. Now we've done that, so I'll just go Control J, just duplicate the red layer, and I'm gonna have this one as my cyan layer. And again, just going to double click the layer to bring up the options, and under Advanced Blending, switch off red, switch off green and blue, and as I click OK, you'll now see that we're back to our black and white image. At the moment, it's not looking very 3D or even like our final image. So what I need to do now is just click onto my red layer. I'm going to hold down Shift, and then with the Move tool selected, just up in the top left, just hit the right cursor key five times to move it 50 pixels to the right. And as I do that, you can just see that red fringing appear. Now I'm going to click on the cyan layer and shift that over to the left. Again, 50 pixels. And once I've done that, I've got the basis of my stereoscopic image. So if you popped on some glasses now and had a look, already that would start to get that 3D effect. Now I want to add some shapes or some stars to the picture. So if I go over to the shape tool, just select custom shape up to the shape preview and select the star. If the star's not there, then just click the settings, hit shapes and click append, and that'll add the stars and other shapes to your tool set. Now I'm just going to make sure that I've got black as my foreground color. Hold down shift and very quickly just draw a star. And if I click again to move the star into position, I'm gonna start drawing another star. So I need to select the move tool and I can just move that now into position. If I want to make it larger, just hold down shift and grab one of the anchor points. Once that's done, just click the tick to confirm and I can move that into position. Now with the star, I want to make a few more stars within this one. So quick and easy way to do that is first of all, just to duplicate the original star that we've had, making sure that it's selected. Then hold down shift and alt grab hold of one of the corner points and I can just move that down or reduce the size of that to make my next star. Now at the moment that's black on black so we're not really seeing the changes there. So if I double click the shape itself, this will bring up the color picker. I'm just going to increase the brightness to 50, click OK, and then duplicate that layer again. And this time reduce the start just a little bit more. Confirm that change, double click, take that back down to zero, duplicate this star, again reduce the size, and double click, and then do one final star which just reduce And there I now have my star for my 3D text to overlay. Now at the moment we're getting a bit busy with our layer palette. So I'm just going to select all the star layers, go up to my options and select new group from layers. Just call that star, click OK. Now if I want to move that around, as long as I've got star selected, it's very easy and it'll just keep those all nicely organized. And I want to add some text to the image. So just make sure the text tool is selected. I've selected a nice bold font, which is impact. 
increased the font size up to 144 and now just making sure that I've got the top layer selected or our style group just going to click type in now in once that's done tick the green tick and just move now in into position so that's our first bit of text and now I can add my 3D text again making sure I've got text tool selected again click I'll write in 3D just highlight that and I want to increase the size again move that into position and I just want to make that 3D text a little bit bigger so let's take that up to 444 Again, move tool and just put that into position. Now, in exactly the same way as we did with the model in the background, we can now double click and just switch off the green and blue layers and click OK. And that's going to be 3D red. Duplicate the layer. And this one's going to be 3D cyan. Double click. This time switch on green, blue, switch off my red, click OK. Now then to finish off, I just want to move that red layer over to the left in exactly the same way as I did for the model in the background. So this time I'm shifting the red and the cyan layers the opposite directions. So I've got my red layer selected, move tool selected. Now I just want to move the red layer 50 pixels to the left. So again, hold down shift and hit the left cursor key five times. Select the cyan layer and move that to the right again five times. And there we have pretty much our final stereoscopic image. And the last thing that we need to do just to tidy things up is just to crop off the cyan on the left and the red on the right. So to select the crop tool, just going to shift that in on the left and also on the right there. Hit the tick just to confirm that change. And there we have our final stereoscopic 3D image.